Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today we are going to talk about gender bending in sea creatures. I began researching this topic after reading an article in The Independent, one of Britain's national newspapers, about clams that are turning from male to female due to large amounts of hormones and pharmaceutical pollution in the water. This is extremely disturbing because it's a problem not many people are aware of. The article is posted below and highlights how pollution along the English coast has turned 1 in 10 male clams female. While this is not natural and will undoubtedly have an environmental impact, it turns out that in multiple species of fish and other sea creatures, changing from male to female or female to male occurs naturally. When an animal starts out male and becomes female, the fancy word for that is protandry. Female to male change is called protogeny. The adorable Disney character Nemo is a clownfish. Clownfish often live with a bunch of other clownfish and their little group is built on a hierarchy with a female fish at the top. If something happens and the female fish of the group dies, the most dominant male will become the female and take her place. Protandry at its finest. Crazy, right? In the case of wrasse, generally they hang out in large groups of ladies with a dominant male at the head of the group. If something happens to the male, the largest female will become a male. The California sheephead is an example of a species of wrasse that will undergo this change for the greater good. Some other sea creatures with the power to change their gender are moray eels, gobies, and mushroom coral. If you want weekly ocean information, click subscribe and please leave comments, questions, and ocean topic suggestions below. Thanks for watching.